Hi everybody, it's me. <laughs> did, I, did, I, did I have you going there? Hmm. Well, welcome to story time, bedtime story on a Thursday evening. Um, normally what we would do is I would start the, the um, Facebook live stream and then we'd leave it for a couple of minutes until a few people joined us. And so there's always usually that, not embarrassing as such, but usually that dead two minutes. And then when I put the videos up on, onto the school website, there's a big long two minute gap before the action starts. So, but tonight I thought we'd do something different. So yes, here we are, I'm standing. I've got my guitar. And we're gonna do a song. Do I need my glasses? Oh, no, I don't think I need my glasses. Hello, Mrs. Ewing. Hello. She's just popped in from the shops, Mrs. Ewing. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do a song. I'll tell you about why we're gonna do this song in a minute or two. Uh, welcome everybody to story time and um, I think you're going to recognize this song so do join with me if you do if you don't recognize it either because you don't know it or um, I'm not very good but I, I have been practicing anyway here we go <laughs> camera down a little bit so that we're focused for story time right just chat amongst yourselves and I'll be there in a moment story time yeah it's now music time will I do that that might have been a one-off or maybe it wasn't a one-off shall I do it again who knows uh, well that was a good way of filling in two minutes wasn't it there we go Elmer you need to move Dixie we're going to, oh there's a clue about what's coming up tonight one of the stories we're going to do um, let me just get ourselves sorted here. I've got my glasses. Hi, Dixie, can you shuffle along a little bit? Right, ah, that's better. Well, good evening. Welcome to my house, welcome to my home. And um, yeah, I'm wearing the Cheshire Cat onesie tonight because I've run out of onesies finally, so I'm having to repeat the ones we've worn before. And tonight, as we go outside to Patford Carers, I think all our neighbours are getting dressed up in, in onesies as well. Either that or it's just going to be me. Hmm, that might be a bit odd. Anyway, I've got my mug. I've got some nice juice in here this, this evening. Because it's been such a lovely day today. It's a little bit cloudy now. There's supposed to be a very special moon this evening. Um, Sunday, it was a flower moon it's called. A very bright moon. And... Um, 
course, May is the month of flowers, isn't it? The flowers all over the place in the gardens. Um, and I haven't got a biscuit this evening. Look at that. Uh, you probably can't read what, the, what it says on the label. It's, it's macaroon. It's a macaroon bar. Anybody with any Scottish heritage will know about macaroon bars. Uh, I grew up in these uh, macaroon bars. This is a macaroon bar made in the wee copper pot in a village called Troon, seaside village called Troon in Ayrshire. And uh, Mrs. somebody that works for, for Mrs. Ewing thought that she might like it, and Mrs. Ewing thought that Mr. Ewing might like it, so I'm in for a treat. So, yeah, welcome everybody. I hope you've had a great day today. Have you been busy? We've had uh, Mrs. Miss Downey doing her 2.6 challenge. Did you see? I put the video on Facebook this morning. Um, she did the plank 2.6 minutes. That was fantastic. Great effort. And Miss Haddo made a 2.6 metre daisy chain um, because obviously there's not as many children in school just now as there normally would be and normally when we've got children in the children in school make daisy chains forever um, but so there's lots of daisy chains because they haven't been picked so well done to Miss Haddo and Miss Downey for doing their 2.6 challenge today didn't Mrs Murray do well last night when she read her story I love that story of what's ever next and I love Mrs Murray's helmet that she was wearing as part of the story um, and it was nice to see Mariko enjoyed that story. So I don't know if you're in tonight, Mariko, but hello, nice to see you getting on board with our Facebook bedtime stories, uh, as it has been to see everybody. Today, lovely day with uh, outside, lots of children in school. And, uh, sick, well, the children who were in school were outside lots today. And it was lovely that uh, they had a gift from our good friends at Maskelzoni. They sent over loads of pizzas for the children, uh, just as a thank you for bringing in the little rainbows and uh, which they've got in their window. So thank you very much, Masco's only so much appreciated. It was a really kind gesture, and they definitely are the best pizzas in Newcastle. Um, I don't know if Masco's only watched this, but I just wanted to say that anyway. Very kind. Um, so what have you been up to today? Well, I saw pictures of Max and Charlie jumping into their paddling pool and. I don't know about the water, if it was that warm or not, but the shrieks of joy that they were emitting as they landed in the water was fantastic. Heartwarming to see. So well done, Max and Charlie. Max has had a cracking haircut, by the way. And he looks as if he's got some tattoos. Um, Michael and Emma have been decorating uh, ahead of... Um, making decorations ahead of VE Day. And um, as we've mentioned before this week, Mrs Murray mentioned it, and I mentioned it as well, uh, VE Day celebrations tomorrow... Uh, all over the country, um, celebrating the 75th anniversary of the end of war. And it's been lovely because we've been hearing stories about some people in our school community who uh, either survived the Second World War and are uh, remembered <coughs> VE Day, or have members of their family who have told them and passed on photographs. So lovely to hear, lovely to see and to hear. We've had a few children out with their parents on walks over the last couple of days and it's been nice to see walking past uh, school Harry and Zoe and today Sarah came and, and can I just say um, if Sarah ever offers to make you flapjacks or Sarah and her mum maybe or maybe Sarah and her mum and her dad or maybe Sarah and her dad if they offer to make you flapjacks take them up in the offer they were delicious Sarah good job fantastic nicest flapjacks I've had for ages um, so yes, yeah, Sarah passed by school today as well and handed in some flapjacks. That was a lovely, a kind thought, Sarah. But thank you very much for that. What else have we been up to? Well, nice to see Grace is going to be camping out tonight. No, she's not. She's going to be camping in tonight. So she's got a tent up in her um, her one of the rooms in her house, and it looks really comfortable, Grace. So I'm sure you'll have a good night sleeping there. Um, I, well, I hope you do anyway. Uh, and I hope the birds don't keep you too, uh, don't waken you too early in the morning. Um, I saw an amazing thing. I have to tell you, I saw an amazing thing yesterday morning. So my morning routine is I get up early. I'm an early riser, and I usually get up about half past five, quarter to six. And it's daylight outside now, so it's lovely. I make a cup of coffee, and I sit on that seat over there, and I can see out the window. And um, there's um, the back fence. Uh, we've got little bird feeders out there, and I love watching the little birds, the blue tits, and so on coming. Well, yesterday, the most amazing bird, a heron, a heron, let me tell you, is a big bird, uh, sat on the fence looking over the neighbour's garden because 
they've got a little pond in there and I think there might be some fish but anyway the heron took a look at the fish and decided that well, the fish weren't big enough for him so flew off to look for something else but it's not every day you see a heron in your back garden not a herring that's a little fish that you might eat but a heron wow amazing um so let me just tell you a little bit about the fret the, the song i put on the facebook this morning we're going to do we might do a song and we'll have a mission and we might have a challenge so boys and girls and parents and any members of staff that are watching we are going to use that song you've got a friend and it's just been inspired by lots of people thinking about their friends missing their friends hearing stories about um Henry bumping into Byron the other day and so missing the friends and we are all missing each other. My little granddaughter Georgie said to her daddy yesterday, Daddy, do you think when this is all over, we might be able to have a big cuddle party for the, all the family? And I thought that's a lovely thing to think about and to look forward to a big cuddle party at the end of all of this. Um, so I know we're missing our friends, but we've, we know our friends um, are going to be there for us once this is over. And we'll probably have deeper friendships and be more appreciative of our friendships once we're through this. So, your challenge. Boys and girls, parents, families can do this together. Members of staff, you can do this as well. We need little bits of video. So please, all do, don't all do the first line of that um, You Got a Friend song from Toy Story. Pick a couple of lines or a verse, maybe the second verse or the third verse, or the little bit about being uh, smarter and bigger and stronger. Um, and maybe you could sing um, a few lines of that. Uh, or maybe just hold up a sign, maybe some words in there that are inspirational, like um, we'll stick together, or we can see it through, or other words from that, maybe with a rainbow. So either a photograph that you can send to me, or a video, maybe five seconds, a little clip of a video, or ten seconds, maybe all the family singing together. And if you can try and do it in the same key, <laughs> <laughs> I might have been slightly out of tune when I was singing, but if you can try and sing it in the same key that I was singing it, then it'll work brilliantly. And we're going to put it together, and we're going to make a video, a St. Catherine's video of that song. And I think it's going to be brilliant. So we need, over the next few days, you've got bank holiday weekend, we've got time to do it, get photographs, rainbows, and might maybe just send us a, a take care or stay safe. Um, picture as well but everything you send we'll use we'll put in the video and we'll make a special St Catherine's video great okay I can see lots of comments coming through and um, let me see who's in the house tonight um, ah yeah so hey Anne wow that's fantastic Anne can read 26 books is that the 26 the 2.6 26 books that's fantastic well done um, and yeah, Henry's on as well, saying hi to his grandma. Um, yeah, please do take up the challenge. We're going to remind you about it over the next few days. So I said to you yesterday, I think, when, um, when we had our collective worship, our message of the week is about understanding what human dignity is and what respect is. And I did say we were going to do a story about war because tomorrow we celebrate the 75th anniversary of the end of war in Europe and we talked about how war was such and such a tough time for people that lived through it. Um, food was rationed and uh, which means that you, you had a ticket and you had to exchange that with money for uh, the food. You couldn't go just go and buy 10 pizzas or uh, three loaves of bread. You were restricted in what you could buy and people had to go away and fight in the, ar in the army and fight overseas and families were split up and sometimes never got back together and children were evacuated out of Newcastle. A few couple of years ago we had some children interviewing some of the residents at Springbank House and they were, telling, they were talking about their experience because a lot of those residents there were only children themselves who were evacuated and um, they, were, they were fantastic in their memories of the history of Newcastle. One of them told us about um, a toffee, a, a, was it a butter factory in Shieldfield that went on fire during the war because it was bombed and the, the, because it was butter and there was oil in it, the fire um, raged for three or four days and the smell, that, because they couldn't buy sweets in the shops, they said the smell was just fantastic, it smelled like toffee uh, was in the air, although obviously they couldn't eat it. So tonight we've got two stories. We're going to finish with a story that I've been asked to do again several times. But the first story tonight 
is a very touching story, um, and it's called The Day Working. Um, and it's, uh, there's some quite dark moments in this story, but it's also a story of hope. Um, it's a story about dignity, and it's a story about respect. And it was inspired by um, the writer listening to stories about uh, children who had been affected by war and had been separated from their families and trying to find a safe place to live and to go to school. And a lot of those children tried to come to this country, the United Kingdom, and the United Kingdom turned their back, turned its back on those children for a while. And it inspired some children, there was a symbol um, of an empty chair and the empty chair was copied by lots and lots of people as they, uh, and it went what they called vile, people started to post an empty chair saying there is room for these children, they are children and not responsible for the, the war. So this is a story I'm going to read first um, and it's called The Day War Came. Beautiful pictures that you'll be able to see, we'll not be able to show you the words, but there on our first page is a little girl who's the centre of this story with her family. The day war came, there were flowers on the windowsill, and my father sang my baby brother back to sleep. My mother made my breakfast and kissed my nose and walked with me to school. That morning, I learned about volcanoes. And I sang a song about how tadpoles turn into frogs. And I drew a picture of a bird. Then just after lunch, walk in. At first, just like a spattering of hail, a voice of thunder, then all smoke and fire and noise that I didn't understand. It came across the playground and it came into my teacher's face. It brought the roof down and it turned my town to rubble. I can't say the words that tell you about the blackened hole that had been my home. All I can say is this, war took everything, war took everyone. I was ragged, bloody, all alone. I ran, walked over fields and roads and mountains in the cold and the mud and the rain and a road in the back of trucks, in buses went in a boat that leaked and almost sank. Then up a beach where shoes lay empty in the sand. I ran until I couldn't run, until I reached a row of huts and I found a corner with a dirty blanket and a door that rattled in the wind. But war had followed me. It was underneath my skin, behind my eyes and in my dreams it had taken possession of my heart. I walked and I walked to try to drive war out of myself, to try and find a place that I hadn't reached. But war was in the way, the door shut when I came down the street, and it was in the way that people didn't smile and turn away. I came to a school, I looked through the window. They were learning all about volcanoes, singing and drawing birds. I went inside. My footsteps echoed in the hall. I pushed the door and faces turned towards me. But the teacher didn't smile. She said, there's no room for you, you see. There's no chair for you to sit on. You have to go away. And then I understood that war had got here too. I turned around and I went back to the hut, the corner and the blanket and, crowded and, and crawled inside. It seemed that war had taken all the world and all the people in it. The door banged. I thought it was the wind, but a child's voice spoke. I brought you this, he said, so you can come to school. It was a chair. 
a chair for me to sit on and learn about volcanoes, sing and draw birds and drive the war out of my heart. He smiled and he said, my friends have brought theirs too, so all the children here can come to school. Out of every hut a child came and we walked together on a road all lined with chairs, pushing back the war with every step. There's a story, the day war came, a very troubling story about war, but a story that ends with hope that showing respect and treating people with dignity can make a massive difference. Oh, fantastic, I love that story, um, in that it's a very moving um, story that helps us to think about what the experience must be like for children. Okay. So, yes, uh, hello Susie Jenkins and hello William. Um, nice to see we've got lots of people joining us this evening. So, a favourite story we're going to finish on because this is our last story time of the week. And then we've got Friday off, it's Bank Holiday Friday. Then we've got the weekend, we'll be back on Monday with story time. Um, do you know, if, you, if uh, you ever want to watch any of these again, they're obviously all on Facebook, but the, the videos are all on um, the school website. All 20 of them, 20 to, tonight is number 20. Um, yeah, 20 stories. And we've also put all the, the collective worships again. So even after all this is over, if you want a bedtime story in December or next February, whatever, they're going to be on the school website. Right, you can join in with this one, okay, because it's called The Wonky Donkey. And it's only good if you can join in with the bits that we know. <clears throat> I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. <coughs> ah! And he only had three legs. He was a wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Oh, he only had three legs and one eye. He was a winky wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. He only had three legs, one eye, and he liked to listen to country music. He was a honky tonky winky wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. He only had three legs, one eye, he liked to listen to country music, and he was quite tall and slim. He was the lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Yeehaw! Oh, sorry. Hee-haw! <laughs> he only had three legs, one eye, he liked to listen to country music, he was quite tall and slim, and he smelt really, really bad. He was a stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. Look at the poor animal beside him. Passed out. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye. My hee-haws aren't very good. I hope you're doing better hee-haws than me. Hee-haw! Three legs, one eye, he liked to listen to country music, yeah! He was quite tall and slim, he smelled really, really bad. And that morning he'd got up early and hadn't had any coffee, so he didn't sit there and look out at the birds and see a heron. He was a cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, donkey, winky, wonky, donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey, yeah! He only had three legs, one eye, he liked to listen to country music, yeah! He was quite tall and slim, he smelled really, really bad. That morning he got up early and hadn't had any coffee. And he was always getting up to mischief. He was a hanky-panky, cranky, stinky-dinky, lonky, lanky, lonky, lonky, honky-tonky, winky-wonky-donkey. We can make the words up as we go. A lonky-donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye. And he liked to listen to country music. Yeehaw! He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really, really bad. A bit like the chicken that we were going to have for tea tonight. That's why Mrs. Ewing had to go to the shops. 
That morning he got up early and he hadn't had any coffee and he was always getting up to mischief, but he was quite good looking. Hi, he was a spunky, hanky, panky, cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee haw! We love that story. That's a great story. And remember, I think maybe it was number two, story number 12 or story number eight. I can't remember. We did the wonky donkey's little um, baby called, I was going to say the teeny donkey, but it's the, the dinky donkey. There we go. Um, great, so lovely to see. Thanks for all your comments that, that have been popping up tonight. I haven't been very good at keeping up, up, up with them tonight. So, hi Jack and hi Lily. Um, yes, you take the challenge. Get singing. We need you to copy a little bit of that video, that song from uh, Toy Story called um, You Got a Friend in Me. Don't just all do the first verse. We need to do several lines. Uh, so we can cover the whole song, or if you don't want to sing, send us a photograph of maybe a line of the song decorated with a rainbow. Sing with your family, get the family around the, the camera together, do a selfie, sing you got a friend in me, and send us a little bit. It'll be great fun to put it all together. Come on, we can do this, St Catharines. We can make our own school video that is going to remind us who our friends are and what a great time we're going to have when we can get back all together again. So... Eight o'clock, 20 minutes time or so, we're going to go out and clap for the NHL. I've still got my school badge on. Look at that. I thought that was rattling there. Just to prove it was me at the beginning in case you thought I was um, somebody else in disguise. Um, yeah, so clap for eight, eight o'clock and um, have a lovely VE day. If you're out for a walk and you live near the school, pass by the school, you see the bunting up there uh, celebrating VE day. Whatever you're doing, um, have a great weekend. Stay safe, take care. And we'll be back together on Monday evening at 7.15. So before we finish this evening, um, we'll finish with our nighttime prayer. And that's an opportunity for us just to pause in the middle of our uh, evening to say thank you to God for our friends and for our family who we love. And especially those that we can't be next and to give a big hug to just now. We can hug our own family. Um, we live in our house just now. But uh, let's say together the, our night prayer. God, our Father, I come to say thank you for your love today. Thank you for my family and all the friends you give to me. Guard me in the dark of night and in the morning. Send your light. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, just a reminder, bits of videos or photos, you can send them through Facebook, either direct message through um, to the school page, Email them to the school or email them to your, your um, teacher and we'll start to put them together next week. I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, take care everybody and uh, stay safe. We'll see you soon.